Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the video. So Taylor and I, we're in the back of the van right now. We've just come into New Orleans in Louisiana and we're going to be stealth camping here tonight. So we figured why not bring you guys along and yeah, let you enjoy the experience with us. So Taylor um, put in some work this morning to find a safe place to camp because we don't really know the areas. Taylor thought it was pretty important to try and work out like a good spot to stay and I think she's right. So she's kind of got the logistics of that sorted out. Um, we're at the Whole Foods right now on the other side of town. We're gonna go in, do a shop, then we're gonna hit a Planet Fitness, get cleaned up, and then go find our spot. Um, anyway, right now, we've actually had a mishap though. So we've got this Kikoman soy sauce. I don't know if you guys have seen these ones before. It's like what you'd see in a cafe. And the, it doesn't have like a proper lid. Like it came with a thing that seals it, but it, I thought it was more like a one-time use. So it's leaked all up in this top shelf <laughs> and also into this basket that Taylor's cleaning. So I taped up the lid. You gotta have gaffer tape, so good. And now that once this is sorted out, we'll be going in for the shop. Crisis averted, Taylor cleaned it up really good. Check that out guys. Ta-da, isn't that nice? Thumbs up if you think it's nice. No thumbs down. <laughs> I changed my shirt as well. Um, back in Little Rock, if you've seen our last video, a couple guys there, real nice dudes. It was uh, Jonathan and Eric, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, one of them, Eric, gave us this shirt. And if you saw the last video, gave us this little card as well, which has got soy sauce on it now. Should we read it to them? I did read it in the last you video. You did? Oh, okay, very sweet letter. You can read it again. Okay, I'll read it again. Yeah. So just a couple of guys that came and, you know, were talking to us because they saw the van. They're like interested in the van life. Eric has a van. His mate, uh, Jonathan, I'm sure, if it was, I think it was Jonathan, he uh, he wants to get a van and, you know, yes. retire. So Eric told us, fellow van lifers, enjoy the journey. Let the road be your guide. Safe travels. Enjoy every moment. And he left us his tip. He left us his email address too. Yeah, it's cool. So right? thank you, Eric and Jonathan, for being cool and for the t-shirts. Did you enjoy cleaning up the soy sauce? Yes. No, I didn't. But whatever, we got. Sorry, the right. Eric. <laughs> Going into the grocery store now. Whole Foods. Oh, we forgot the water. Oh, dang it. Going back to the van to get the water. Pretty important. <laughs> nice. Got to stay hydrated or die, as Hyd they say. Hydrate or die, guys. <laughs> I'm not sure what exactly you call that, but it's pretty impressive. Waterloo sparkling water. I wonder if they tell you to do that, or if that was just the staff that did that. Back at the van now. We've got a big shop, 75 bucks worth. Uh, let's see if I can show you guys. So, we got some papayas. Lemons, sweet potatoes, locally grown, Louisiana. Some organic stir fry stuff for tonight that's frozen. So easy just to throw frozen vegetables into a van meal. So good. And some like mandarins, peppers, bunch of organic pasta, organic, don't panic. We also get these fat free sauces. So much better than the old ones we used to get because they don't have, you know, like, uh, what is it, Taylor? Like, um, I'm having a mental okay. blank. Corn, uh, corn. Chemicals. Yeah. Some sort of chemicals. Corn, high fructose syrup. corn syrup, you know. We're a bit like, you know, we don't want the GMOs if we can avoid it. Organic bananas, sugar, organic, and yeah, water, some potatoes. Anyway, you get it. Let's get it all in the van, hey, Tay? Yes. The system is, I listen and do what Taylor says. Thank you. I think she wants me to, you want me to pass them to you? It's a supply chain. We're a little backed up. Yeah. Just running the trolley back. Got a bunch of rubbish in it. I'm gonna ditch. I think they have recycling here, which makes me feel a bit better about myself. Anyway, that trolley probably sounds horrible, so I'll stop filming. I just got some food cooking in the Instabot here, guys. Oh, the piss jar. <laughs> Shit. Just got some food cooking in the Instapot here, guys. Not sure if I've shown you it before, but these are so good. Total van upgrade. Taylor's dropping stuff on me. <laughs> I dropped my pizza. 
Oh, she's trying to. Oh no. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cooking, and we're gonna go hit the showers now, Taya. Yeah? Sounds good. Okay, so Taylor's managed to drive us over to the Planet Fitness. I think we're in Materi and it's actually a really bougie area, really nice. So originally we'd planned to go across town a little bit to find a camp spot, because yeah, Taylor had found something online that looked suitable, but considering how nice it is here, we're probably gonna try and find the street. You found some, you saw, sorry, some dark streets on the way over, didn't you, Taylor? Yeah, it definitely seems like a nice area. If anything, we just get the cops called because we're the sketchiest people here. <laughs> yeah, literally. But we just won't make any noise, I guess. Yeah, they... but we saw some dark streets by, like, yeah. apartment complex and a lot of cars, so we thought it might be... And, like, decent. wealthy old people. So that yes. should be a good thing. So let me show you the plan of things here. Ah, uh, there it is. The F FI is not even working properly. Then we can get cleaned up. Yay! The inspot is done. Gotta let the steam out of the old girl. Oh, fuck, that's hot. <laughs> so we just jumped in the back. We're gonna eat first and then hit the gym to just shower and not work out. Check that out, guys. Mm. Isn't that so good? We got, um, rice and we bought like a pre-made stir fry, just frozen veg at Whole Foods. Put some avo on it. I did soy sauce, garlic and onion powder and it's looking so yummy. Yeah, I haven't put anything on mine yet, but in Whole Foods, I found this. Louisiana, the perfect hot sauce. So I had to get it and try it since we're in Louisiana. Although Taylor does tell me you can get this anywhere, so. <laughs> yeah, but you know, gotta pretend. <laughs> All right, so we nearly fell asleep after dinner. Um, we made the mistake of laying down. Now we're finally heading into Planet Fitness. It's like nine thirty. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. yeah. Someone's selling stuff in the parking lot over there. A little odd. So we just finished up at Planet Fitness. Clean. You might notice that we're wearing the same clothes, so yeah, just ignore that fact. Taylor is gonna take us to a spot, we're gonna camp up. This is a 24 hour Planet Fitness, we considered staying here, but it is really noisy. There's people coming in and out of the parking lot, there's, you know, highway kind of there, and actually I just noticed there's a railway line up there too. Um, yeah, so I think we'll, we'll go find a quieter street. You ready, Taylor? So Taylor's just put up our new window covers. I'll do a video about it, but I sewed like a piece of fabric on the outside of our Reflectix. Look how good that looks. You cannot even tell. Hey Taylor, switch it to the other side so they can see it with Reflectix. You've probably seen them in some of our other videos, but yeah, I mean, that's how much it stood out before. So yeah, pretty crazy difference. Totally worth doing. Anyway, let's get out of here. Planet Fitness parking lot. You good? I'm good. Oh, man, I'm tired. Me too. I'm ready to get some sleep tonight and hopefully in a quiet place. <laughs> I guess I'll close the door then. I... Alright, so we're gonna retrace our steps now. Put this visor up. Oops. It's a railroad here, it's like Ugh. a big speed bump. It's so steep. <laughs> I heard a train go by earlier and it was so loud. Yeah, that's what like I was really loud. I'm saying that like it was like right near. There was there's one on the other side of the lot as well. Two spots. Probably no good for sleeping. Mm. But that's a dark street. Oh, You guys see that? <laughs> so there's all like dust and stuff on the windshield and Taylor just used the windscreen wipers and we don't have fluid so it's all submerged. I'll try and show you. Kind of nice area. Some lights on It's probably so windy in that clip. Look at this dark street guys. Dorrington Boulevard. Alright so we've put the window covers up. Um, we are right by an apartment complex. There wasn't any parking right out the front of it. It was all taken. So we're kind of opposite a house, 
but Taylor and I figure that it'll just look like we're visiting the apartment complex. We're like right next to it. Don't think there should be any trouble. How are you feeling about it, Taylor? I feel pretty good. It's a really That's expensive good. neighborhood. Like I was thinking there might be some million dollar houses in this neighborhood. Definitely. So I was a bit suspicious because a street over it said um, there's a neighborhood watch. We call the police. I mean, a lot of neighborhoods have that. But since we're so close to like a main strip of businesses and also this apartment complex, like Matt said, I think we'll be just fine. Let's get in the back. Woo. Are you going to crawl? Yeah, I'm going to crawl. Let's watch. <laughs> I'm going around. All right, successfully in the back of the van now. I ended up waiting in the front for like five minutes because firstly, I heard some noise, some people changing or getting into their car over the road. And then someone pulled up right behind us, of course. It's seriously always the way. And then Taylor just thought I should wait in the front for five minutes before I get out. But they ended up leaving. So I've just hopped in the back. We're gonna get settled, get ready for bed. Hey Taylor. Yes, you guys would not believe how much more lax we've gotten about parking. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever we first started, we were always, like, so paranoid we were in the wrong spot, like, so freaked out. And we're still kind of, like, pretty careful about stuff, but not, like, losing sleep over it as much anymore. So that's kind of what we're going with tonight. We'll just see what happens. Yeah, we don't normally stay, like, right almost in front of someone's house, but... Might be a good confidence builder. Yeah, true. All right, we are going to get to sleep. We'll probably let you know, guys know how it goes in the morning. Um, I think it'll be fine. It's pretty quiet. Should be a good sleep. It's a little warm though, hey Taylor? Yeah, it's a little humid, but that's okay. It says it's 80 degrees, I think. Okay. On the thermometer, thermometer in the van here. Nice. All right, guys. See you in the morning. Good night. I don't have the light switch. Yeah, that's pretty good. What do you think? Yeah, that is pretty good. Morning, guys. Uh, stealth camp was a success, I guess. It was a pretty good spot. We both felt pretty safe. Um, it was fairly quiet. At some point, I've been woken up by a few cars coming past. That's a reason I don't like parking on the side of streets, because it always wakes me up. I'm not sure if it was like in the middle of the night or early this morning but you know besides that it was pretty good and pretty cool night too it wasn't too hot we've got our fan going you can probably hear it actually turn it off max air fans have a tendency to be really squeaky and i've cleaned that one out too so i think we're gonna go find a gas station hey and vegan beignets vegan beignets gonna cycle the city today get some beignets yeah i'm stoked to see it all yeah so let's uh Let's do it. I just need a restroom. <laughs> well, this is actually a really nice street. Look at this. Check out the trees. Uh, I don't think we stood out too much. Because like we said, we're like right near an apartment complex. Um, just right there. So if anyone wondered, they'd probably think we're visiting someone there. By the way, check out these window covers. How good is that? Like you can hardly even tell during the day that there's a cover on there, I find. And the front is just like your typical like front reflector, but we leave that like that because that's more normal. Yeah, I guess we could change that too. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. Coming into the gas station now. Random dude. Whoa. Taylor might have gone the wrong way. All right, so I've had my morning toilet stop. That restroom and that whole building was so weird because it like as soon as i went in it like smelled and felt like asia and then in the restroom there was even a bidet which i thought was weird although now i'm thinking maybe that's just like a new orleans thing because of like the french influence oh it could be yeah yeah so taylor's cutting up some fire doing a pretty good job about it too i worked at whole foods for a month cutting fruit so i know my fruit exactly <laughs> Fanny is squeaking again. Yeah, so we're gonna eat and then we're going to go over to the park. Should be pretty sick. America. Yeah. Wait, does that sound racist? America. Alright, so I just got Taylor to switch the car off. We're actually in traffic, but I think there's a train coming past. Um, guys, we're going to City Park. We're going to see New Orleans. I might do a video about it. We'll see. 
I hope you guys enjoyed our New Orleans stealth camp. It was pretty successful, I think, anyway. What do you think, Taylor? Yes, it's been an excellent first day, and I'm excited mm. to check out the city more today. Yeah, so we'll do that. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment with any questions, and we'll see you in the next one.